like that. <laughs> it's okay if it's down. As long as it's tight. Yeah, we uh, started uh, a little bit uh, tickle slow, you know, I thought. Uh, I think we started 13, you know, I would have loved to start a little bit, you know, a little bit faster, maybe like 12 and 2, 12 and 3, but uh, uh, otherwise, you know, that was a very good walk. We started picking up the tempo a little past the half a mile pole. And uh, I really loved the way he finished, you know, especially his last quarter of a mile and uh, got out really strong uh, seven furlong this morning. Is that uh, kind of a standard work for him? Is he normally a, a very good workhorse or is he touting? No, he's always been a very good workhorse and uh, he always uh, walk like this in the morning. We don't walk him you know, usually that fast and that uh, long of a distance, but uh, he's always been a pretty good workhorse in the morning. And uh, just talk about the difference between his race in New Orleans, um, in the allowance race, and then when he wins the Arkansas Derby, as far as the development of this horse, because this horse has been kind of a work in progress, it sounds like. Yeah, it is, but I thought his allowance race was extremely good. Uh, looked like the speed figure came back a little bit on the slow side, especially on the buyer-wise. Uh, he ran almost the same time as uh, Olympia, you know, on the same day and just two races prior, but he got a completely uh, different, you know, uh, speed figure. But I thought uh, it was extremely impressive this year, th this time, and that's why it gave us the confidence to go uh, straight to a great one after this kind of race. Well, let's backtrack a couple of races then. From when he, he first ran, finished first, disqualified for interference, ran very green. Um, just about the development of this horse. Yeah, the talent has always been there, uh, but you know, I just we just thought uh, mentally he was not uh, quite uh, quite ready. But the talent has always been there, you know, from day one. It was the mentally he just needed a little more time to mature. And uh, I thought he really turned the corner uh, over the winter and especially uh, the past uh, the past two months. Very kind of horse actually to, to gallop and to walk with. Uh, it just uh, prior the race, you know, sometime uh, or even like prior like going to the track, he just uh, feels good and likes to go, go up in the air and uh, He's a little bit of a player, but uh, otherwise a very hard to handle, you know, I would say, uh, when he starts uh, galloping his whole business. It's just a little bit before, he's just feeling good horse, but uh, nothing really uh, bad or mean about him. How do you feel about him going into the Kentucky Derby and, and, and trying to win the Derby uh, the first time around and not in a court system to uh, hit the wire first this time? How do you feel about Cyberknife? Uh, uh, I think we have a great chance. Uh, people might say, you know, the Arkansas Derby wasn't the strongest strongest prep of uh, all of them, but I thought uh, there was a great race. Uh, he ran extremely well, he had to make a nice uh, middle move you know, in the backside, it's not uh, an easy task to do. And he was able to finish you know, with authority and with plenty of horse left. And when he came back, 
didn't seem like he was very phased and didn't was re, wasn't really tired. So that's why it gave us the confidence uh, uh, to be in the race, you know, next few weeks and have a great chance for the Kentucky Derby. You are a Kentucky Derby winner. It, it's well, I, hard, I mean, well, I don't so feel at like this it. point, yeah, but that's what I was going to ask you about. Does it just seem kind of almost bizarre or something when people say, you know, you won the Kentucky Derby, you're the defending Derby champion or, the, I mean, do you feel anything one way or the other when you hear no, that? No, I mean, there's the no feeling, to be honest, because I, I didn't cross the wire first and I didn't really win the, the race. Uh, I got uh, just a lucky uh, recipient, you know, myself, uh, Brad and uh, and, uh, and the owner, Judd Montfance, but we, we all want to cross the wire first and uh, the excitement of the race and uh, experience, you know, the uh, winner circle and the roses and uh, the public uh, cheering for us, this kind of stuff. Uh, we don't want, no one wants to win a race by DQ. It doesn't feel like there's no merit to it. Being finishing second by half a length, does that make you even more when you're so close to winning the Derby? Um, give us like I know what kind of trip you need to to win the derby. You need the right horse too. But uh, I feel like this year, especially, it's wide open. Uh, the deserving favorite uh, is going to be Epicenter, and after that, it's really up in the air. Uh, mo most of those horses, uh, they all got beat, and uh, there might be you know only a handful of horses who are undefeated. But uh, I like our chances, and we we'll see what uh, what happens in uh, in a few days.